On behalf of Local 937 and the Chelsea Fire Department, I welcome you to our 46th Annual Memorial Sunday. This memorial was erected in 1972. It was built with the blood, sweat, and tears of our brothers that gone before us. For the past 46 years, we've gathered here to pay tribute, honor, and memorialize every one of our brothers that have fallen in the past year. This year is no different. We will honor four brothers that have gone before us this past year. Our brothers may have left, but they will not be forgotten. Firefighter Sean Dunn, Post of Colors. Delegate detail. Present us. Delegate, Post of Colors. Got a detail. Order up. To start our ceremony this morning, it gives me great privilege to introduce from the St. Rose Parish Father Hilario Sanez for the invocation. shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I saw the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. When the afflicted man called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved me. Fear the Lord, you his holy names, for not is lacking for those who fear him. The great grow poor and angry, but those who seek the Lord want for no good things. Blessed be you, Lord God of mercy, who through your Son, gave us a marvelous example of charity, love, and service, and the great commandment of love for one another. Send down your blessing on these servants who so generously devote themselves to helping others. When they are called on in times of need, let them faithfully serve you in their neighbor. 
we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Father. I'd like to welcome and recognize our state and local officials that have joined us today. State Rep. Rosalie Vincent, City Manager Tom Ambrosino, Council President Leo Robinson, and the members of the City Council. I'd also like to welcome and recognize our past Chiefs of the Department, Chief Louis Adonisio, Chief Joe Shefko, and Chief Robert Vetta. To start our ceremony today, <laughs> Chief of Department, Lenny Albanese, Jr. Each passing of a former member is given the ultimate respect. A signal 1015 announcement is read over the main channel, including the member's name, service history, and funeral arrangements. And there is always a department present as the services. Then they are remembered here every year. This simple, solemn ceremony, without a doubt, will live forever. This union gets this right, and I'm proud to be a part of it for this short time in my career. This morning, I join you in paying our respects to those members lost over the past year. Firefighter Darren Moore, Firefighter Harry Ells Jr., Captain Ernest Capello, and Firefighter Frederick Nowicki. We again extend our condolences and support to their families. Be comforted in knowing that they will never be forgotten by the members of the Chelsea Fire Department. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Our next speaker is City Manager Tom Ambrosino. So good morning, and thank you, uh, everyone, for coming. And I thank the department for inviting me this morning. It certainly gives the city an opportunity to pay our respects to those members of the department who passed away this year but to also express our gratitude to those who serve and continue to serve. You know, I often say to others, this is a very difficult city in which to serve as a member of the fire department. Given this city's older housing stock and its density, chances are very high that when an alarm goes off in the Chelsea Fire Department, it means that men and women are often responding to a very dangerous situation. We saw that just recently on John Street, and that occurs time and again throughout the course of the year. I can assure you that the city does indeed recognize that reality, and for that reason, it does indeed hold this department in extremely high regard. You know, we sometimes disagree on management and operation issues. That's the nature of the business. But there is no disagreement, no room at all between us when it comes to recognizing the professionalism and dedication of the men and women who come to work each and every day in this department. So on behalf of the city, to those who currently serve, I thank you for that great service. And to the family members of those who've passed away, I express to you the city's everlasting gratitude for their service. This is a very noble profession, and they perform their work in it very honorably. God bless you. Thank you, Tom. Our next speaker is also a great friend and advocate for the fire department and our local. She stands for the same values and beliefs, and she stands with us without debt, uh, doubt or hesitation. We have stood with her and will continue to stand with her. She is 16th Suffolk District Representative, State Rep. Rosalie Vincent. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Chief Albanese, distinguished guests, members of the Chelsea Fire Department, and the Chelsea Firefighters Association. I'm deeply honored to be with you here at this solemn event. Today, like every year, we gather in front of this memorial to honor the members of the Chelsea Fire Department who have gone before us. In a special way, we remember Chelsea's finest, 
who passed away over the course of the last year. We are here to honor their service to humanity, to their fellow firefighters, and to the city of Chelsea. We are here to pay tribute to their memory by remembering their courage and their sense of duty. When I looked up the word hero in the dictionary, it was defined as someone who in the face of danger and adversity displays courage and the will for self-sacrifice. The men we remember here today, as well as all of the members of the Chelsea Fire Department, past and present, meet the definition of hero. And in closing, I would like to thank all of you for your bravery, your courage, and your service to the people of Chelsea and to the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. You are all my heroes. And just one thing before I uh, close, I'll just say that um, under the leadership of Speaker DeLeo, this past week we passed the uh, legislation unanimously that would ensure that first responders who develop cancer in the line of duty are to be placed, placed on paid medical leave. So this is something that I'm sure I'm very proud of, and I just want to say thank you to the speaker, and it's a well-deserved um, benefit for our first responders, so thank you. This time, I'd ask the color guard to lay our memorial wreath for all our members of Local 937 that have passed on to serve this great union. Next, the members of the Disabled Veterans Chapter 62 will lay their memorial wreath in honor of our men and women that are currently serving and the, one, and the ones that have given their lives to preserve our freedoms. Next, I would ask the members of Chapter 62 to escort Luanne Miola to lay a wreath in honor of her mother, Mabel Miola. This time I'll ask firefighter Sean Don to come forward and read the firefighter's prayer. When I am called to duty, God, wherever flames may rage, give me strength to save a life, whatever be its age. Help me to embrace a little child before it is too late or save an older person from the horror of that fate. Enabled me to be alert, to hear the weakest shout, and quickly and efficiently to put the fire out. I want to fill my calling and to give the best in me, to guard my neighbor and protect his property. And if according to your will, I have to lose my life, bless with your protecting hand my children and my wife. Amen. Each year, ceremonial carnations are laid in honor and memory of our fallen brothers. This year, we lost four of them. We will always honor and never forget the sacrifices that they and their families have made for this local, this department, and the residents of the city of Chelsea. We will never forget them. Darren Moore. 
Firefighter Moore was appointed to the department July 7th, 1987. He retired July 7th, 2008. He passed away on November 25th, 2017. The firefighter Gabriel Reeves come forward to escort Darren's daughter, Shante. Harry M. Ells, Jr. Firefighter Ells was appointed to the department August 26, 1963. He retired on December 31, 1990. He passed away January 20, 2018. Will firefighter Bobby Norton come for an escort, Eddie and Eileen Ells, to honor firefighter Harry Ells, Jr. Ernest C. Cabello. Captain Cabello was appointed December 27, 1954. Promoted to Lieutenant January 22, 1962. Promoted to Captain November 26, 1974. He retired July 31, 1989. Captain Cabello passed away January 22, 2018. Deputy Chief Eddie McGarry, come forward, escort Captain Capella, son Michael. Frederick A. Nowicki. Firefighter Nowicki was appointed January 22nd, 1968. He retired June 30th, 2003. Freddie passed away May 16th, 2018. Captain Caraccino come forward, escort Fred's grandchildren, Mia, Christina, and John Paul to honor Fred Nowicki. The following members have paid the ultimate sacrifice and have died in the line of duty. Their names are forever scribed 
in the International Association of Firefighters National Memorial Wall in Colorado Springs, Colorado. 1977, Captain James Trainer. 1983, Lieutenant John Dory. 1985, Firefighter Charles Crowley. 1986, Firefighter Ronaldo Valdez. 1988, Firefighter Freddie Donovan. 1999, Lieutenant Herb Calloway. 2005, Deputy Chief Joe Von Handoff. 2007, Past President Captain Thomas Lassiter. 2009, Firefighter Michael Coyne. 2013, Deputy Chief Charles Crowley, Jr. 2016, Firefighter Peter Candler. These men have given and sacrificed their entire lives to their families, this department, and the citizens of Chelsea and the fire service in general. Secretary Treasurer Emeritus Mike Corn has come forward and read for May they not be forgotten. Brother, when you weep for me, remember that it was meant to be. Lay me down, and when you leave, remember I'll be at your sleeve. In every dark and choking hall, I'll be there as you slowly crawl. On every roof and driving snow, I'll hold your coat and you will know. In cellars hot with searing heat, at windows where a gate you meet, in closets where young children hide, you know I'll be there by your side. The house from which I now respond is overstaffed with heroes gone. Men who answered one last bell did the job and did it well. As firemen, we understand that death's a card dealt in our hand. A card we hope we never play, but we hold one there anyway. So remember as you wipe your tears the joy I knew throughout the years. As I did the job I loved to do, I pray that though we'll see you through. Thank you, Michael. Chaplain Toby Quirk from St. Michael's Chelsea Soldiers Home. <laughs> Father God, for those firefighters who have gone to their eternal reward, I pray, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Thou leadest me in green pastures, thou leadest me by the still waters, thou restoreth my soul. And for those firefighters still on duty, I pray, Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war, my fingers for battle. Thou art my shield, my protection, my fortress. Take courage. Be not afraid, be not dismayed. For I, the Lord thy God, go with you always, now and forever. Amen.
completely devote themselves to helping others when they are called on in times of need. Let them faithfully serve you and their neighbor. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. And in behalf of all the priests of St. Rose, we salute you, brothers and sisters, for your service. And really appreciate and we are so grateful that your service is truly unconditional. Take the love of Jesus Christ to each one of us. God bless. attended today. Brother and sisters, past, present, family and friends, State Rep. Vincent, City Manager Tom Ambrosino and the City Council. Special thanks to Brother Sean Dunn who donated his time preparing the memorial. The Queso family from Dunkin' Donuts, Peter and Donna Zacheski from the Welsh Funeral Home. Greatly appreciated. I would ask that you keep in your thoughts and prayers all our brother and sister firefighters and police officers and the men and women that are overseas fighting to maintain our freedoms. This concludes our ceremony today. And as always, join us back at Central Station for some refreshments. Thank you. Color God, retrieve the colors. Got it detailed. Dismissed.